high. If you've done any type of searching about what it's like to work in cybersecurity, or even typed in something to chat GPT, it can be kind of hard to figure out fact from fiction. In this video, I'm going to go over some myths that I often see all over Google, which hopefully will help you give more, you more context about cybersecurity in the tech field and whether or not you want to actually work in it. The first myth that I often see is that it is hard to learn. I actually don't think cybersecurity is that difficult to learn. Of course, depending on which route you're going to, there are so many different jobs in cybersecurity. Some are more difficult to learn than others, but there are plenty of easy ones to learn that, and you could probably learn within 60 days. When you're first starting out, you're not going to be a cybersecurity architect. You're most likely going to be doing some type of mundane type of work because it's an entry level job. It's not going to be that difficult. If you're confused about where to start, I do have a free course list below that walks you through a lot of different courses and knowledge that you can gain. The second common myth about cybersecurity is that your first job will be six figures. Now, while you can make six figures at your first job, such as being a SOC analyst, it's going to be highly dependent on where you live. If you live in a high cost of living, such as like New York or Seattle, I think minimum wage in Seattle is around $15 an hour. So of course they're going to pay a little bit more for more skilled labor. But I also see there are some cities that have a huge skills gap, but low cost of living where you can also make 90 to like 100K starting out. It's really dependent. Also, it depends a lot on how well you can negotiate and what your previous experience looks like. If you have previous experience, you can use that as leverage to gain a higher pay. The next myth about working in cybersecurity is that you're not going to have to talk to anybody. Now, there are definitely jobs where contact with other people will be minimal. There's not really any role that you're not going to talk to anybody, whether that be a customer, a coworker, or a boss. However, there are definitely cybersecurity jobs where meetings are minimal, but in other cybersecurity jobs, there may be a lot of meetings, highly dependent on the company, team, manager that you have. The next common myth that I see in cybersecurity is that you need to know everything. You need to have a degree and certificates and a boot camp. If you look at really any entry level job description, it's basically you have to have three years of experience with the CISSP and a bachelor's degree in cybersecurity. You just need to know enough to start that job. And that's basically it. So I think all of these requirements really deter people because I look at those job descriptions and I'm scared. So I can't even imagine someone who's new to the field may think about everything that they need to know. And your first job probably isn't going to be extremely high level. You're probably going to be triaging tickets or responding to an incident, which there usually is step-by-step -step instructions on how to do that. The next common myth about working in cybersecurity is that you need a security clearance. Now, if you don't know what a security clearance is, it's basically where the government goes into your background and interviews people such as your neighbors, people who knew you from 10 years ago, and people who know those people who also know you. It's really in depth. A clearance is usually only needed for government agencies or if the company is working for a government agency. For instance, Amazon has tons of cleared jobs that you need a security clearance because it's working with the federal government in some capacity. These are usually kind of difficult to get because you do have to meet stringent requirements. The number one being is if you have debts, if you have bad credits or anything on collections or anything like that, that is the number one factor people get denied for clearances. But there are tons of jobs where you don't need a security clearance, working at a large bank or Working at a startup, which is a great way to get experience, can be very useful. The next myth about working in cybersecurity is that there are no entry level jobs. I see this so much, especially on Reddit, but that's because 10 years ago, an eternity in tech 
There were no entry level jobs. Now it has changed and there are plenty of entry level cybersecurity jobs such as a SOC analyst, a IAM analyst, GRC analyst. I have an entire video going all about entry level jobs if you're interested and also the top skills to get if you're interested, which goes into different types of sections in cybersecurity, really useful videos. The next myth that I see perpetuated is that all of the jobs will be automated and there's no way anybody can ever get a job. And that's just not true. Because if you go to chat GPT, what I noticed, right, is that a lot of what chat GPT gives me is completely wrong or very generic. It doesn't give me the sources where it got that information. Also, if you have no experience, in the field, you're not really going to know what questions to ask because you don't have that context of working in the field in the nitty and gritty. More interesting jobs will just be created in replace. For instance, when computers came out, think about all of the jobs that were automated and basically just became redundant. And now we have a bunch of really interesting, cool jobs that you can choose from. So being adaptable to new times is important. So maybe you won't be doing what you're doing now, right? Maybe it will be automated, but I'm sure there will be another position that you could also get. I really wouldn't worry about automation or chat GPT taking your job. And that ends my seven myths about working in cybersecurity. So, Thanks for watching. I do have this special playlist for you all about starting your career in cybersecurity, and I'll see you in the next video.